Hello, welcome to Destined to Win Tutorials. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Today we have some questions from YEC on probability focusing on independent events. It says here, a fair dial is thrown two times. What is the probability that the sum of the scores is at least 10? That is more, it should be 10 or more. That is the meaning of this statement, at least. 10 or more. So here, in throwing a, a fair die twice, two times, there are 36 pos uh, possible outcomes. I've drawn um, a particular table for you. This is the first uh, die, the second die, and when you throw them twice, you either get a 2, 3, 4, this is the table, or to know the outcomes, that the possible outcomes. And it's the question says, what is the probability that the sum of the scores is at least 10 that's the sum of the two dials now you can see this is these are the sums two three you know when you the first die if it's one, a one on one is two if it's a two and two it's a four so the sum we will check on our table where does the we have 10 here one two three so we get 10 in three places the body question says at least 10 so it means 10 and above and so what are the numbers greater than 10? We have 11, 11, and 12. So there are six outcomes that will produce the sum of at least 10. The sum of the scores, which is at least 10. So there are six what outcomes. And if you remember, uh, the general formula for probability, it says the outcomes divided by the possible outcomes. So... We have here 6 divided by, what, are the, what is our possible outcome? 36. So here, this will go here, 1 divided by 6. So we have 1 over 6. So this is what our, our right option is, option B. Here we have another question, 2016, question 42. It says a bag contains five red and four blue identical balls. If two are selected at random from the bag, one after the other, with replacement, find the probability that the first is red and the second is blue. So this is a question with replacement. So it's an independent event. If it wasn't without replacement, it would be a dependent event. So they said we should find the probability that the first is a red ball and the second is a blue ball. If you remember our laws of probability, when we have an and, we perform what? Uh, multiplication. So solution here. So what's the probability that it would be a red ball first? So we have what? Five. What's the five? That's the uh, number of, of uh, required outcome. And what's our total? Total balls is nine divided by nine. And What's the probability that it, the second will be a blue ball, which is what? 4. So multiply by 4 over 9. Here, what do we have? We have what? A 20 over 81. And this is our right answer. It says the probability of an event P happening is 1 over 5. And that of event Q is 1 over 4. If the events are independent, what is the probability that neither of them happens? Now, this is the probability that it happens. P, P prob for P is what? 1 over 5. And that for Q that happens is what? 1 over 4. If it doesn't happen, that's neither this happens. Neither P is what 1 minus 1 over 5, which will give us what this will be 5. The LCM is this minus 1, that will be 4 over 5. If this also doesn't happen, we have what 1 minus 1 over 4, which is 4. That's 4 minus 1, which will give us what 3 over 4. So the question now says that neither of them happens. So for neither of them happens, we just apply a multiplication rule, which is 4, multi 4 over 5 multiplied by 3 over 4. This will cancel this. And we're left with 3 over 5. 
And what's the right option here? Option C. The next last question here is from Y 2015, question 29. It says the probabilities that Keba, Ebao, and Omar will hit the target are 2 over 3, 3 over 4, and 4 over 5, respectively. Find the probability that only Keba will hit the target. Only Keba will hit the target. So the probability that only Keba. Will be the probability that Keba will hit the target, which is two over three, multiplied by the probability that Eba will not. That's the probability of failure of Eba. What is the probability? If you just say one minus three over four, this would give us a one over four, multiplied by Omar that he will not. That's his failure of Omar too. And if you say one minus four over five, this will give us a what? One over five so here we cancel this will cancel here one this will cancel two we have three times two six times five that will be what 30 so one over 30 that's option c thank you for staying tuned to destined to win tutorial please like subscribe and share this video you are destined to win bye